Hello everybody. Welcome to this video. We are taking a look at Tableau tips once again. And today's tip is a uh, method of labeling your bars in bar graphs that um, is perhaps a little bit more organized in terms of having your users be able to see the numbers in one place. Uh, it doesn't make their eyeballs bounce around, um, you know, all over the screen in order to find the various numbers. And in, <laughs> to save myself from explaining everything when I can just show you, let's dive in. So we are going to take subcategory up to rows. Uh, we are going to put sales over here for an x-axis. Um, the classic, classic Tableau example. Uh, let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger, fit uh, the window to the height. Uh, we are going to sort in descending order, and I'm going to just get rid of some of the clutter real quick, so we don't want any grid lines in here. Uh, no zero lines, no thanks, no, no. Uh, this should be good. All right, so for starters. Uh, what a lot of people are going to do is they are going to label these bars. Uh, in this case, we could maybe have an x-axis down here that uh, you put this into a dashboard. All of a sudden, you know, these um, some of these axes become a little bit uglier when they're sharing real estate with other visuals. So a lot of times this might not even be there. But then you still want people to know, uh, what am I looking at here? Chairs. Uh, what number is this? You know, if we hover over this in the tooltip, that's fine, but maybe you want to see visually, um, you'll be able to ballpark what is that number. That's a reasonable request. So what a lot of people end up doing is they put labels on their bars. Uh, so this is where a lot of people would stop and they would put this into a dashboard. They'd say, you know, job well done, um, but not us. We are going to take a look at another thing we can do. So for starters, I don't like how I have to look all the way over here to see numbers. And then if I'm looking further down on the, uh, the visual, you know, my eyeballs have to move over to the left. We have a lot of lateral movement here on reading the value from one bar to the next. You know, maybe you, you're, you have uh, athletic eyes and it doesn't bother you, but here's an alternative. So we can go to label, we can go to alignment, and we can just align these labels to the left. Uh, now this seems to be pretty decent. You know, you can play around with this. You could say, let's make this font a little bit smaller. Let's maybe make it bold. So now you can read these a little bit better. Um, you know, I'm not gonna play with every option here under the sun. I think this already looks better than what we had before, but I am going to point out down here, these are a little bit hard to read. So something that you can do is maybe pick a color for the bar in the background to where this text is going to um, you know have a good contrast to it. So up here, the the white text on the dark blue bar really works for our eyes. It's really easy to read those numbers. Down here, this uh, this black text on the dark blue, not as easy on the eyes. So let's just help ourselves. There's no reason to make this more difficult than it needs to be. And uh, you can either play around with your font, but what I prefer to do, uh, you can either play around with your font or you can change the color of your bar. So in this case, maybe we just make this, you know, a light gray or a light blue as we've done here. Not saying this is the best color on earth for your visual, for your specific use case, but in this case, it illustrates a benefit we get here. Now the text for the labels is not going to be bouncing around between being a black font or a white, um, or, you know, black, a color um, difference depending on, on the background of the bar. You have one consistent color all the way through, uh, so it's a little bit less distracting. Um, uh, there's, you know, fewer th elements of your visual that are changing color from one place to another. That's kind of nice, uh, a little bit less visual distraction. And it's very clear what these labels are. Uh, now, one final thing we can do, we can format the numbers and just for this visual, you remember in Tableau, you can format individual pieces of your visual. Uh, we are formatting the sum of sales values that are uh, in our marks card and have this T next to them, which corresponds to the T that you see on label. 
So this is the thing we wanna format if we want to further format our labels. And we can go over here to how the numbers are being represented. And we could play around with this as well. So maybe I want to have zero decimal places and show units of thousands, uh, which makes these numbers, these labels a little bit less distracting and a little bit smaller. Uh, you know, maybe you do want the decimals or maybe you want to show these in millions and show, you know, two decimal places. You have that control. Uh, the main concept to take away from this video is that I recommend instead of having your, your labels existing way out here, instead of doing this, uh, try this. Your eyes can scan vertically, no lateral movement. Uh, you're gonna get less dizzy looking at that. Also consider making the colors in your visual such that your label isn't gonna be oscillating between white and black. You don't want unnecessary variations happening in your visuals. That just serves as a distraction. So that's where we're gonna leave off the tip this time around. I hope this helps somebody out there and stay tuned for future videos.